I think uh, not many years ago, we really thought of metastatic prostate cancer as being completely um, in the realm of systemic therapies. Mm -hmm. If it was out of the box, it was out of the box. And if there was a one cell that we knew about that was metastatic, there were sure to be many others. So all of our treatments were really focused on medications that could go body-wide. I think what's changed in the role of prostate cancers are realizing that there are different biologies and that for some cancers, you can actually have um, sort of a more of a stepwise spread, and that offers us an opportunity where we can stop the spread even when it has metastasized to a few spots. This is actually a really big paradigm shift, and it's happening in different parts of the world. So I think Australia and um, in, main, in uh, uh, mainland Europe, that was sort of a big switch. I think uh, in the U.S. it's really starting to, to pick up and, and there's a lot more interest. I actually talked to some colleagues from the U.K. and they said it doesn't happen very much at all yet. But I think it's, a, it's we're going to see a change as we learn more about the science of prostate cancer. Um, and so I think there's going to be more and more research. At Duke, we're actually, I think, really trying to push the envelope there and are really looking at um, advancing with some novel clinical trials and combination agents with radiation to, to see what we can um, do to change the natural history for metastatic prostate cancer.